Hey there, buying a new device is exciting, but sometimes you can get more than you asked for. Meet bloatware, the unnecessary software that clutters your device. It's almost always useless and often difficult to delete. But how does it end up in your operating system and how can you deal with it? All about bloatware in this video. You can get bloatware through malicious downloads or even while browsing some shady websites, or someone can pre-install it for you. In that case, software developers will pay vendors to install their products on the devices that they sell. In the end, you may pay less for the device, but it comes stuffed with bogus software. Sometimes manufacturers themselves inject maintenance programs that do more bad than good. In the worst cases, they can even track you and collect your data. Some unwanted apps come directly from developers. For example, you can get one with a software update. They use it as an aggressive marketing method to push their products. Whatever its source may be, bloatware is always intrusive, annoying, and it violates your privacy. Some of it can even be dangerous. It can steal your data, inject your device with additional malware, or flood you with ads and pop-ups. So how can you get rid of these unwanted presents? Consider the following advice. There are tons of bloatware removal apps on the market. Check them out, just make sure that they are safe to use. If you have Windows 10, first try the regular process of uninstalling the unwanted apps. But most bloatware won't give up so easily. In such a case, you can use Windows PowerShell, which gives you more control over your system. PowerShell's DISM command allows you to wipe software entirely. Consider using the Windows 10 Refresh tool too. Just make sure that you don't accidentally delete any legitimate apps that you use. Be aware that this method does not remove the native bloatware that you get when you buy your device. Of course, it's always better to avoid bloatware in the first place. And here's a few tips on how to do that. Most importantly, choose the right vendors and manufacturers. Budget retailers are more likely to sell you bloatware-filled devices, so it's better to just go for more expensive options if you can afford that. Some brands offer signature PC lines with no third-party software, so check those out too. You should always avoid downloads from unofficial websites. Try downloading our software only from official and trusted sources. Don't click on suspicious links or messages. In a way, malware is just a form of bloatware, so it uses similar ways of spreading itself. Also, remove all software that you don't recognize straight away. Don't wait until it makes your device impossible to use. Stay safe. To learn more about VPNs and online security, subscribe to the NordVPN YouTube channel.